Welcome back to Interesting Places. I don't even know if I can say this one. Welcome to the Wakatahachi Wetlands. This one's up on the boardwalk so we won't get stuck in the mud today. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. <laughs> this is getting really scary. This boardwalk goes way high. I wonder how deep this water gets. It even looks like they built a berm here to protect the areas from the water. So let's see what's back here. Maybe we'll get to see an alligator or something. Wildlife you'll see here. Aninga, rabbits. I don't know what a moorhen is. Little turtles, alligators, great heron. Let's see what we find. Cool. Hope we get to see an alligator too. There's something moving around in the bushes. Gurgling down there. What the heck? Alright, we got more movement down there, but I can't tell what it is. The gurgling was with something else, though. He was gurgling again. Huh. I don't know what that is. That could scare you. Oh, what's up? Is he? No, wondering if he's like There's lots of that that get attacked and stuff by bigger animals. Oh, there he can fly. Okay, all right. <laughs> Big guy just scared him away. Oh, look at all these birds. We got some little ones. Look at those. Those are cute. I don't know what they are. I didn't even see them on the side. Maybe they'll be on the side. Water recycling, wildest habitat, and open green space. Constructed wetlands like the ones here. This is actually built. The birds up there give us a stare down. They're pretty noisy. Lots of bird activity. Yeah, here it's green. There's more out there in those bushes. You can see them further out. Try to get closer so we can get a view. Remember that you're watching this with a VR. You can move in, walk around, see everything you want to see. If you're seeing it on YouTube, just a normal way. Pause, zoom in, zoom out, look all around, move it around on your screen. You don't need a VR helmet to see what I'm seeing. You can see in front of me, behind me, everything. A little bit of the view behind is going to be blocked because I've got the camera up on a hat. So people get to laugh at me as they see me walking around with this camera on my head. Oh, here, we're going to get real close to the birds up here. inside this little and like you can see out there you see the cloud formation that's a thunderstorm that just went by this is like really cool another one of those cool places bring the kids come look it's free we're actually in Delray Beach Florida Let's 
somebody up there seems to be pretty upset. Can't tell which one's making the noise. Oh, there he is over there. You see on that far branch. Got his mouth open up there. Keep moving on. See if we can find us an alligator. Some of these places just kind of hidden. You're driving down the road and all of a sudden it's there. If you weren't actually looking for it, you'd never find it. So the plants that they've got in here, actual water filter. They help to filter the water and keep it clean. See a whole bunch more birds out there. It's almost like a bird sanctuary. It's bigger than most bird sanctuaries. I'll tell you what, that thing needs to be put out of its misery, though. He's just sitting up there making noise. Look at him. I wonder if it's mating season because he's got his. I don't know what that is. He's got his little thing flapping as he's making his noise. If he's in an alarm or not. Maybe he's just upset that we're going to neighbor in his neighborhood. Got yeah, another one out here sunning himself. Evidently got a little bit wet, need to dry off. He's not doing that to get a tan, just keep doing that to dry out. Now I got some smaller birds over here making a little bit of chirping noises and stuff. Is that a pear tree? <laughs> Call that a partridge in a pear tree? I don't know if that's a pear tree or not, but it's kind of funny. What's that down that way? Hearing something else. Over there in the in the reeds. Can't get to it there. Lots of birds in here. I haven't seen any fish. The water's pretty shallow. Hey Doc. I get to cheat. I get to see everything. <laughs> Here we go. Here. We're looking at it. There's something in there they're waiting to see. We're going across the maintenance road. It looks like they, when they built this, they segregated off different sections for flood planning, I'm sure. You know, this looks real marshy, swampy, scary alligator come jump at you. Like, what was that movie? Lake Placid. That's it. Big, huge alligators coming out and eating people. Wonder where they're at. <laughs> oh, that is. Here's the noise. Where is it? See some butterflies out there. Don't see the bird that made that weird noise. There's more. Look at this. I'm about four, five, six feet away from the bird now. We're just going for a walk together. There you go. Bunch more big birds out there in the trees of that little island. Freshwater turtles. 
got cooters. They're done. Oh, that's hey. So if this area is fresh water, alligators won't. Let's see, was it crocodiles? Our saltwater creatures, alligators, and freshwater creatures. So hopefully we'll get to see them. Don't know if you can see underneath the bushes there. You'll have to zoom in on some of this stuff and who comes there. And some of it might not show up in your VR helmet. You might not be able to get close enough, but if you watch it regular YouTube, then you'll be able to zoom in a little bit better. Keep the quality up. Oh, they got a little bird house up there, little bird feeders. They're doing everything they can to attract the birds out there. I guess they need alligator food. But still have not seen an alligator. Well, this is what we're looking for out here. We want to find us an alligator. Let's see. The water's too murky to see much. I see a couple little fish. So it's a little bit deeper here, but definitely murky. You can hear construction noise outside the park. That's what's really unique about some of these small little wetlands and wildlife areas and things of that nature. We're literally Right in the middle of Delray Beach here in Florida. Matter of fact, now we're in the middle of the rain. It's starting to rain on us. It looked like it was going to rain here when I came out. And we're all the way in the back side of the park, so we're going to have to walk through it whether we like it or not. It's really a cool look, though. Seeing the raindrops on the water. Doo -doo 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 -doo. More birds flying around. Not seeing too much here as far as alligators. I was hoping we'd get to see an alligator today, but maybe we're not gonna. Tell you what, if you're looking for something to do with the kids, this would be kind of fun. I don't know if those are pears, but there's an awful lot of these trees. They look like pears. Not sure what they are. Maybe when I get home, we'll look it up. They don't have any signs saying what they are. Some more birds out there. Heavy plant life in the water. Grass here is dabblers. Water birds with wed feet. Mottled duck. Got lots of those and mallets on a golf course at home. Green winged teal. I think that's what was walking along the rail with us. Don't see them with their butts up. Well, that was a quick rainstorm. It's done raining now. Welcome to Florida. If you don't like the weather now, wait a few minutes, it'll change. Wonder might be hidden inside that. See all those little trees and bushes in there. As it gets later in the day, it gets hotter. Things I've noticed in some of these nature preserves is that as it gets hotter, the animals go find places in the shade and stuff to hide so you don't see them too much. Later in the evening, you can come out and they'll be out getting ready to eat dinner and moving around, mushing about before you know, it gets dark and then the nocturnal animals come out. Not much of a scientist myself. Kind of interesting. It's a pretty big walkway. It didn't look as big coming into the park. Like I said, you drive around, you come in, you really just don't know what's there. All right, the rain's back. As you can see, it's kind of partly cloudy, mostly cloudy. Okay, not really too much going on with the sky. I 
guess the plants out there are called fireflies. Flowers growing up on them. Going through our little thunder shed. Due to timing, this might be the end of it. So if we have to shut her down because we're taking too long, well, enjoy yourselves and we'll see you soon. It looks like we're at the end of the park now anyway. We're heading down the walkway to the end. And we're off the boardwalk. How you doing? There is? Yeah. I've been wandering around trying to find one the whole time. Come closer to us. Over here. Oops. Okay. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's a big one. There's another one that was swimming in the water as you go around. Really? Over there? Yeah. Cool. Big one. I know. We're just waiting for Some woman said she yeah. thinks that oh. she's on a nest. Oh, yeah? Well, then I wouldn't go out and say hi to her then. No. She might get a little upset. Made it all the way around before I finally saw one. <laughs> Thanks, and I would have missed it. <laughs> hey, they said there's another one in the water swimming over here. Maybe we'll be able to see it as we're heading back. No, I don't see anything over here. Of course, I must be blind. They just, those people had to find that 10-foot alligator for me. There's about a 10-foot alligator down there where them people are at with the There's kids. One Is right there another one over here? Too. Cool. <laughs> His name is George, the guy called George, oh yeah, he's got a name. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so George is out here. Let's see if we can find George. He's right out here. They said he was in the water. Let's see if we can find George. Huh. That bird's actually eating leaves. I didn't know that birds eat leaves. I thought they ate bugs and other interesting stuff. Learn something new every day. All right, let's see if we can find that alley mini gator. Let's come over here. And on this side. That looks like a nice landing spot for one. There are lots of noises from the animals out here. That's a movement in the water over there. Actually, a couple. That's more birds. <laughs> Boy, the chickens, I guess. That's what that is. You get over there. There are more birds in the water. Hope you be about some babies. Little babies looking at them in the water eating the plants. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six of them? And it looks like Mama's there. Still no alligator. Missed them. Oh, he's hiding from me. Your eyes come. You would think they'd slap that little baby to get it to quiet down. Yes, it is what it is. Not seeing anything over here. Heading back to the main trail. Not seeing anything on the bank over there. Got two birds up there in the top of that tree fighting. Well, they were fighting. Oh, there they go. Wonder if one of them's got some food. The other one doesn't. Can't tell if there's something in the one bird's mouth. Maybe they're getting ready to say hanky panky, and that's the way they're communicating. So 
couple more birds sunning themselves up in the top of the tree. Iguana. I don't see any alligators down here. Remember yesterday we got to see an iguana take a dive off a bridge. Alright. So we made it all the way around the loop. We're back to the one well, still sitting up there crying. Looks like what we saw before, but we didn't get to see the second alligator. All right. This has been kind of interesting. Another place to bring the kids. This is cool. Thanks, and remember to like and subscribe.